The Pioneers have one of their own, and Logan Marchi. This is a handoff. And the ball comes free! The Pioneers recover! Third and 10. Alexander Stevens throws a wobbler over the middle, and it's intercepted at the 25 yard line. Picked off in the secondary and brought all the way back to the 45 for Sacred Heart on the interception by Shamir Collins, the cornerback from Illville, New Jersey. The second takeaway for the Pioneers defense gives McCray the ball at the 46. McCray brought down. Christian Alexander Stevens has pressure from the blind side. The block picked up and he's gonna take it back to the near sideline. Wyland chases him out of bounds. Third and six, McCray spins out of trouble and then right back into it. Down he goes. Now if you're sacred heart, you gotta find a way to get a three and out and keep this field tilted in your favor to give a short field for your quarterback making his first start of Marquez McCray. Wagner runs it and Owebu has a big gain bowling over. Alexander Stevens has Brink in his backfield. He keeps it, he's wrapped up, and then he eludes the tackle. Looking to turn the corner. Alexander Stevens caught by Outer Bridge and forced out of bounds. Christian Alexander Stevens from Shotgun. The ball on the five yard line. They're going for it on fourth down. Alexander Stevens throws to the end zone. And it is a catch and a touchdown for the Seahawks on the slant. He threw it just over the goal line for the catch. Marquez McCray sacked as the pressure comes from who else but Cam Gill. A four yard gain on the connection between McCray and Chambers. He goes Chambers way again and that is caught. Chambers letting the defensive back know something as well after he hauls it in. McCray does indeed throw it up. Nassim Brantley with the catch and a first down for Sacred Heart. His longest is 30 this year. Borges missed from 40 earlier. This is to get the Pioneers on the board. And it's good. All of a sudden he's eight for 10 for 76 yards in the air on the day. The Pioneers think the ball came free. And it did, and they got it. McCray escapes. He takes off, fakes inside, goes outside. What a move. Chestnut alone in the backfield. It is Julius Chestnut, he's in. Touchdown, Sacred Heart, and the Pioneers lead. They put DeCambry in motion. Alexander Stevens, the slant, that's tipped up and intercepted. Broken up, picked off by Noah Provenzano. Down the sideline all the way, pick six. Noah Provenzano, touchdown Sacred Heart. And lines up at wide receiver at the bottom of your screen. Alexander Stevens throws in that one, is broken up and also intercepted. Another pick for the Pioneers, and it's Provenzano leading the way once again. Chestnut alone in the backfield. It's Chestnut, up to the goal line. Julius Chestnut, he's in! His second touchdown today. The kick goes to the 10, and it's a big time return here for Wagner from Myron Morris, as they put Ellison, the wide receiver, in motion into the slot. What the ball is there? fumbled. Lost on the exchange. Alexander Stevens never had it. Second and five. McCray throws a jump ball to the end zone to Chambers. Touchdown, Sacred Heart. Beautiful throw to the inside pylon. Forcing the receiver to get off his route and almost having another interception. Alexander Stewart. That is completed and fumbled. Another turnover, Mike Wyland picks it up for the Pioneers. Wyland looking to take it all the way. Mike Wyland, touchdown! It's only about a 22 yarder. It's good. Yost throws and his picked. He's intercepted. It's Sean Ram Sharon on the eighth turnover of the day by the Pioneers defense.
yards. That's another pick six and a touchdown for the Sacred Heart defense again. It's a three game winning streak for the Sacred Heart Pioneers behind a second half explosion. They beat Wagner 41 to seven this afternoon at Campus Field.